Welcome to Smalltalk Daily for Friday, November 6, 2009. This morning I'd like to go through using JSON from Smalltalk because JSON is something that's very commonly used across multiple network interfaces. For instance, if you talk to Twitter or Facebook or a number of other things, JSON is very commonly used and it's pretty easy to interface to. To get started, what we want to do is connect to the public store repository because in there is a JSON interface and we're going to find JSON. Now you'll find there are a bunch of these that have been done at various times. The one I use is this one. I use this in the Facebook interface. So I'm going to load JSON Reader. Load that. That loads pretty quick. Now once that's in, this is all there really is to it. I've got a little interface here to Twitter where we're going to get all the mentions of my username and we're just going to put the username and password in because Twitter uses basic auth. I've got those set up in a different page over here so I don't give that out. And I'm just going to get the response. I'm going to get the contents of the response. Then I'm going to put that on a read stream and get the JSON text from it. So it's JSON reader read from. So it's all pretty simple. So let's go ahead first and just do the HTTP part and do it do it. That'll take you just a moment. We'll take a look at the JSON text. And you see this looks pretty clear. It's this JSON format. You see the curly bracket. And then you've got all the things in sort of a dictionary streaming format. So to take that into an object, what I do is send this, and it's going to give me back an array of dictionaries. Each dictionary element is just the key value pairs. And it's pretty simple to take that into an object. All you have to do is have an object that has these instance variables, and then you can write that code yourself. I'll leave that as an exercise to the reader, but it's pretty simple to write something that takes dictionary keys, stuffs them into instance variables, not hard at all. So that's really all there is to working with JSON as far as reading from it. Now it turns out that if you want to send something to JSON, that's pretty simple too. If I go into the JSON reader, which is perhaps badly named because it supports both, if I go up to class object, you'll find that there's an as JSON. So it does a JSON write. All you really need to do, have some object, send as JSON to it, you'll get back something that looks basically like this. So you'll get back a collection of this kind of stuff. So that's about it for today. Until next time, have fun with small talk.